terror strike in the heart of Moscow, the first target, the Lubyanka metro station, early this morning during rush hour. Authorities said an explosion tore through one of the carriages as a train was coming into the station, killing commuters on board as well as people on the platform. Minutes later, another attack, this time in the Park Culture Station near iconic Gorky Park. As soon as I got upstairs, I heard the blast actually. I saw a young woman covered with blood and she was coming out of, of the metro station. As ambulances tore through the streets answering distress calls, the toll of dead and injured rose steadily through the day. Suspicion fell on Chechen separatists seeking to free Chechenia from Russia's control and their use of black widows, Russian parlance for female suicide bombers. It was specifically timed for the moment the train was nearing the station to make the most damage. The blasts were caused by 300 to 400 grams of explosives. If true, this could be the first time since February 2004 that they have struck the Moscow metro. That attack killed 41 people. In February 2001, a bomb blew up in the Moscow metro, injuring 10. And in August 2000, a blast in evening Russia killed 8. But there have been far worse terror attacks. Most horrific was the siege of a school in Beslan in September 2004, when Chechen separatists killed more than 300 people, half of them children. It's not clear if there was any specific intelligence about the attack, but authorities had warned about a broad terror campaign against Russian cities since an express train was derailed by a bomb last November. In New Delhi with Surya Gangadharan, Varun Kumar.